Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can place an InDesign document in another InDesign document. And you might say, well, what, what, so what's the big deal? Why is that important? Well, in this particular sample, what you're going to see is I have uh, a, a cover design that I did for a client of mine, and I want to show uh, my client all four of these ideas. What I don't want to do is print out four uh, pieces, uh, uh, four PDF files, in other words, uh, a four page PDF doc document. What I really want to do is have everything on one page so that uh, my client can take a look at it at a glance, all four of them, all four of them at one time. And then, uh, and then you know, my client will be able to make a decision. So here's what I'm going to do. I already have uh, an InDesign document set up that has four graphic frames on there. So basically, it's really simple. All you have to do is place images. Uh, I mean, place your InDesign document in your in your frames, just like you would place images in your frames. So what we want to do is we're going to go to File, drop down to Place, all right, and then we're going to find our, our InDesign document. Here, it's this document right here. Make sure you say Show Import Options. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap on it and we're going to open it up. Now, at this point, you're going to notice that um, this is a three, each one of those pages were, um, they were three pages. There was the back cover, the spine, and the front cover. I just want the front covers, which is the third page. So in this particular instance, what I want to say is range. All right. Now I want to, I want to print, I want to actually get page three on the first uh, spread comma, page six on the second spread, comma, page nine on the third spread, comma, page 12 on the fourth. So I want those three pages to put in those frames. So what I'll do is, and then I want to say the bounding box. I have options here. I can say, um, you know, bleed box, slug. I want the bounding box. So again, my range is three, six, nine, and 12. OK, and then I'm going to say OK. Now, at this point, you're going to see I have this phantom image of the uh, actual cover. I drop it one here, one there, one there. OK, and then one here. Now, they're going to come in at the actual size. So what I'm going to do now is I'll do a Command A so I, or Control A if you're on a PC, group all of them. Then I'll go up to Object. Down, go down to my fitting option, and then I'll say fit content proportionately. I click here. So now I have all four of these covers on one document that I took right from an InDesign, uh, an InDesign file. Okay, and then I'm going to export that out of the PDF file. So I'll go file, export. Okay, and then I will target my desktop. I'll put it on my desktop. I will export this out as a print PDF file. I will say, move this over here to see it. I'll say save. All right, high quality. All right, and then I want to make sure I say view PDF after exporting. This way, once the PDF file has been exported, I'll be able to see it as soon as it's, it's exported. So I'll click export. And then what will happen is here is my PDF file, which I will send to my client. Really, really easy. I didn't have to go through any make ready. I can put InDesign documents in InDesign documents and then print out a PDF file. So that's how you can, you can actually um, place InDesign files into InDesign files. All right. Hopefully this helps.